It's time for the Round Ball Roundup Lake Area Basketball Show. And now your hosts, William Holtz and Ron Dugan. Welcome to the Round Ball Roundup Lake Area Basketball Show. I'm William Holtz with Lake TV, joined by my co-host, Ron Dugan. Ron, what's going on, man? Not too much, you know, kind of... Uh, kind of winding down the season here, the last couple of weeks before district play, and so uh, some pretty pretty good conference matches going on right now. Yeah, right in the heart of the conference schedule. Today's show will break down the Osage week that was. We'll talk about Camdenton Laker basketball. We'll have a couple of Camdenton players on the show, all that and much more, and we're going to get right into it. Uh, we'll start with the Osage girls program just continue to impress Ron and uh, incredible game Monday night against Southern Boone. Really was and you know a huge conference game for them and you know two state ranked teams you know Osage is ranked seventh uh, um, Southern Boone's ranked fourth in class three and just a dynamic uh, atmosphere for a ball game at school of the Osage and um, you know the the girls just played a ph phenomenal game. Yeah, huge game, and obviously earlier in the conference tournament, Southern Boone beat them by 31 points, you know, and Southern Boone obviously incredible women's program and men's program, as we'll touch on here in a minute, and to, to protect your home court and not just win the game, but to win at the, the score they did, beat them by nearly 20 points, it was incredible. We'll run through the numbers. Uh, Huge, huge game. 68-51 was your final. Jordan Bartlett, 13 points, had to have 15 rebounds. Uh, Kendall Miller, 17 points. Six of those from the free throw line hit about four threes in the ball game. She was just on fire, and she struggled early in the game. She missed a couple of wide open threes, but I'll tell you, Ron, as Osage started to pull away and Southern Boone wanted to chip at that lead, Kendall buried a couple big time threes later in the game that really uh, cushioned that lead. And, and on the night, 44 free throws shot by Osage. Yeah. And, Southern Boone's social media page, they commented on that. They said, oh, we lost, but they shot 44 to our 10 free throws. Here's the reason. Their girls were in foul trouble early. Three of their girls fouled out. And on top of that, with three minutes to go in the game, down 12 points, they started to foul very, very early, and Osage converted on their free throws. Well, and the difference in that is Southern Boone wasn't attacking the basket, and Osage was. You know? and, and that, you know, that's the difference in the world. You can look up there and see how many fouls are against one team against the other, you know, or the other. But it's based on what they're doing offensively, Absolutely. you know, and Southern Boone wasn't attacking the basket. They fall in love with the three, and that's really how they make their money, and they really were cold from outside, and it's kind of surprising because the high school level, you don't have many of those players that really want to take over a ball game in four right. shots. They've got a couple of them. As soon as they get it off the dribble, pull up from three, you're not going to get a lot of free throws, like you said, when you're right. not driving the basket. Uh, back to last Thursday, big win for the girls versus Versailles, beat them by 50 points. It was a big game, and 19-3, and and Ron, ranked seventh in Class 4. For a big time game coming up. They'll be at home Thursday night against a very good Skyline team. You touched on that. And then Monday, they'll travel to California. So, two big matchups. Yeah, and if you're in town, go to that game against Skyline because Skyline has a really impressive program. And uh, we're going to really find out where Osage, we, we knew they were going to be good, but we're really going to find out whether they have what it takes to, to go, you know, a long way into the state tournament. Very, very good. And then on the boys' side, uh, Big game Friday. I was on hand at Versailles, of course, being a Versailles alum. <laughs> it was the alumni night, also court warming, and they packed the house. I mean, this was the most impressive student section I've seen at a high school basketball game over the last probably five or six years. Filled to capacity, probably 2,500 people in the stands total. All the alumni came for court warming and alumni night. It was a good game. Versailles actually up seven midway through the third quarter, and uh, Osage, man, they know how to finish games, as we've seen, and they did just that, hitting free throws down the stretch, and they end up winning 69-59 to 59 in that game. Well, you know, and, and some kids really stepped up there in the fourth quarter, you know, Zach Wheeler, and just had a, a you know, amazing fourth quarter, I think 13 points in the fourth quarter, and, you know, they just kind of took over the game, and like you said, they were down to Versailles and, at halftime, and, and uh, you know, I don't know what was said in the locker room, but they came out and uh, just had a totally different attitude about the entire game and, and put on a show. Yeah, and both teams really struggled early in that one outside from the three-point line. Actually, Osage started 2 of 12 from beyond the arc in, in the first half and ended up doing much better. Uh, you touched on the fact that Zach Wheeler had 20 points total, 18 of those in the second half. And the 13 that he had in the fourth quarter run, he was 2 for 3 from beyond the arc. He had a step-back jumper that you'll see, and then also went 5 of 6 from the free-throw line. And when you talk about free-throws, as a team, 
Osage 25 of 32 from the line in the game, 13 of 16 in the fourth quarter. You shoot free throws like that, you're going to win some ball games. Well, and that's exactly right, and especially when the other team gets down and they've got, they know they've got to foul you. You know they're going to foul you, you know, and you've got to step to the line and knock those down, and that's exactly what they did, and that's a sign of a very confident, um, you know, shooting team, and they are. Keaton Miller in the game, he had 16 points, and uh, McCann, James McCann, 18 points, five of six from the free throw line in the fourth as well. And what's most impressive about that particular win, Ron, Versailles is a, a chippy team. They play very physical, and in front of that crowd and that environment, you had some opportunity for Osage kids to lose their cool, if you will. The officials really let a lot slide. And what's most impressive to me, they didn't just go to Versailles and get a big conference win. The way they did it was with class. They held their cool, and uh, one kid especially was uh, Zach Wheeler. He had a couple opportunities, a couple of jump balls, a little bit of a scrum, and instead of getting mad, which as a young competitor we've seen from right. Zach in the past can happen, he's grown so much, not just on the court, but in his maturity, and it's been very, very good to get to follow that. Yeah, and that's that, you know, that upper class, you know, junior and senior leadership, you know, that, that, um, you know, they'll do that and they'll keep their composure. You know, the younger kids, you know, they're not used to that kind of an environment and that kind of physical play. And so, uh, you know, they rely on those upperclassmen to show them the way. And, and they did a really good job of that. Yeah, very good game. Uh, Jason Edwards, another big game. He didn't fill up the stat sheet, but what he did was an incredible job leading the way to beat the press. Drake Gaines, he didn't score in the game, but guess what? Incredible defensively, pulled down nine rebounds, some big time rebounds in the game. They did lose Tuesday, got back to play against Southern Boone, lost by 13, but a very tough Southern Boone team as we know. And for the guys, they're 12 and nine on the year, and they'll play Friday at Warsaw, and then they travel next Tuesday to Hallsville. So a couple more Tri-County Conference games. Right. If you can travel and support the guys at 12 and 9, there's still a lot up in the air to see where they'll finish. Right, absolutely. And, you know, and they, they've got some work to do here, but, uh, you know, it all comes down to district play and the seedings in the district. And so these games are important. All right, guys, that is a wrap for the, Cam or the Osage segment. We'll be right back on the Round Ball Roundup. We'll talk about the Camdenton programs after this. Your vehicle, it's part of who you are. It's your partner in weekday traffic and your passport to weekend fun. It's your sometimes office and your all the time concert hall. For all your vehicle is to you, isn't it time you did something for it too? Introducing the Quick Car Monthly Unlimited Wash Club. For only $20 a month, wash your car as often as you want. Enjoy significant savings and never worry if it's going to rain or not. Join the Wash Club today. Quick Car, quick, easy, and professional every time. At Lake Regional Sports Medicine, keeping athletes in top condition is not just a job, it's our passion. Our athletic trainers work in the schools to keep student athletes safe and healthy. Our team of board certified orthopedic surgeons have the expertise to get you over the pain and back in the game. And we offer five area locations for physical therapy to help you regain your competitive edge. Lake Regional Sports Medicine, here for you. Holly Lift Boat Lifts. Your boat is a major investment. Make sure it sits on a poly lift. When you need a boat lift to raise your boat out of the water, choose the one voted best boat lift at the lake. Choose poly lift. Any size, built with the best quality construction, a lifetime warranty on the tanks, and the service to stand behind it. We don't just build boat lifts, we build poly lifts. We don't just build boat lifts, we build poly lifts. Meet Walt, our local high V pharmacist. He's highly trained to counsel, support, and care for your chronic and complex medical needs. High V Pharmacy Solutions is your complete source for specialized pharmacy services. Meet Amy, our local high V dietitian. She's our most credible source of food and nutrition information. She's your go-to for shopping tours that focus on your diet needs. You can even take a biometric screening on site. At High V and Osage Beach, our health experts can't wait to meet you. And we're back, folks, the Round Ball Roundup Lake Area Basketball Show. And, Ron, to talk about our Cam Engine Girls program, lots transpired, uh, including an injury. Touch on it. Well, yeah, kind of uh, Blair uh, went down with the ACL uh, down at the Bolivar Tournament. You know, huge, huge blow. You know, one of our only two seniors on the team. You know, she is, she is an amazing person, though. You know, she had a smile on her face and all through, you know, getting ready for surgery and, and came out of surgery, did really well. Um, you know, a lot of people are pulling for her, and she's just such a leader on that team. And so we weren't really sure what was going to happen, you know, with, with the team when she, she had to step out. But, you know, the other girls have really picked up the pace and, you know, and really 
really coming on strong and doing a great job of, of um, you know, leading the team, you know, in Blair's absence. Yeah, and you touched on the fact that just the, the attitude and the mindset that goes into something like that. Okay, you're a senior. You've poured so much into the program. You're down in conference. You know, it's a stretch of conference season. You're in a big tournament. And something like that happens, and, and essentially your basketball career is over. Your lot right. could just fold and, and really be upset. The opposite happened. Blair accepted the role. I was communicating with her mother when they went up to get the MRI, and she ended up having surgery the next week. And just the attitude. She was a part of God's plan. I can still be a leader. Right. You know, I've always wanted to be a coach. Now it's time to kind of step in and start learning that. And then that was what was really cool to see her before her surgery, to see her on the sidelines, you know, you know, learning from Coach Gaffey on, on basically how to coach. And so, you know, she's... She's already stepped into that, like you said, that next role that uh, she has in her plan, in her life's plan. So it's way cool to, to yeah. see. So obviously, without her, you know, some girls gonna have to step up, and that started well before the Glendale game. But we'll talk about Glendale's game Thursday, Ron. Big win. It was a big win, and and they played really well. They came out really fast. Uh, I think Coley had nine, and Kylie Meyer had nine in the first quarter, both. And you know, I think they had 26 points at the end of the first quarter. Really, really kind of set the tone for the game. Um, and they didn't let up, you know, they kept on Glendale. They ended up winning uh, 76 to 51. Uh, Coley ended up with 23. Natalie had 20. Uh, Kylie had 17 points, you know, they, and they shot really well, uh, especially from beyond the arc. Uh, but they just did a good job of controlling the game, never really letting Glendale get into it. And, uh, you know, it was just a good win for them, good conference win for them. Yeah, you talked about, you know, the scoring. Big time Coley, 23. Natalie with 20. Kylie Meyer, 17, that was accomplished by going 7 of 7 from the field. And she also had 10 rebounds in the game, and that was her third double-double of the season. You know, and that's the one thing that she has really done of late, is she has stepped up on those boards. And, I mean, she is hitting those boards hard. And a lot of them are offensive rebounds that she's getting and uh, getting second-chance points for the team. And, and I've been really, really impressed with her on the boards inside. You know, and she's posting up on that left side, and Coley's posting up on the right side. And so... You know, it's hard for teams to, to guard them both in there because they're both really strong players, on the, especially inside and definitely on the boards. Yeah, so big-time win, obviously, 25-point win, always big. And just to back up just a second about Kylie Meyer, her emergence started earlier this year, but it carried into that shootout. She ended up winning the MVP of the shootout, and it was pretty cool what happened. Go ahead and touch on that. Well, and, and you know, it just shows a lot of class, you know, for the entire team, but especially for Kylie. And, you know, Blair going down the tournament, she takes her MVP trophy and hands it to Blair and in honor of what Blair's done for the team. And it was just a really special moment. That's kind of the epitome of this team. Team first, Absolutely. you know, self later. And that's why they've been able to have success. And at 12-9, and nine, you look at their schedule, that's quite an accomplishment to be 12-9 and nine through 21 games because this Ozark Conference gets tougher and tougher, it seems, yeah. by the week. So after that big-time game Monday, they had Waynesville, and Waynesville's a great, great team. We saw that starting in last year's districts. We did, and they're very athletic. They didn't lose a lot from last year. You know, we knew it was going to be a tough game. You know, we played them pretty tough, you know, and it was, uh, you know, down there at Waynesville, and, and that's a really difficult place to play. But, um, you know, they, they, they lost the game, but they came away, I think, probably with a lot more confidence on what they could do against Wayneville, Waynesville in the district tournament. So, you know, if we get a chance to play them again, it might have a different outcome. Yeah, I mean, last year in the regular season, beat them at home and then lost in the opening. They end up win Waynesville ends up winning the district tournament last year after being the lowest seed. So, you know anything can happen late in the year and all that, as important as we think it is, doesn't hold as much weight as we may think. So then obviously the game, Coley 18 points, another big time scoring game. Yeah. Kylie at 18 points and talked about her 100% field goal percentage from the game prior. Well, she goes 9 of 11 in that game, which is good for 81%, an incredible line. And, uh, and then you look at Tegan Shockley. She had a big game with 14 rebounds and Natalie Basham adds 16 points. So it's really those four right now that are really pouring it on. They really are. And and doing it on both ends of the court. You know, you mentioned Tegan's 14 re rebounds. I mean, that's huge, you know, because she's not typically playing inside, you know, so she's right. coming from the wing position or a corner position where she likes to shoot, you know, and she's hitting those boards. And that's, that's really impressive uh, to get girls to come from those positions to come in there and hit the boards. And it's really important because they got the best view of the goal and where the ball's going to come off. And so, you know, we, we talk about it with my teams all the time, you know, is you were in the best position to rebound, and she, and she really showed, showed some stuff the other night. So 19, or sorry, 12 and 9 on the year, and they'll play Thursday versus Rolla at home, of course, get out and support them. And then Monday, 
travel to Lebanon, the big rivalry game, and so a couple of big games coming up. You know, Lebanon's really good. You know, there's no mix any words about it. They're good. But, um, you know, you never know what can happen. You know, the teams are, are pretty equal, you know, in our district. Uh, Lebanon's probably got the head up. They'll probably get the number one seed in that. But, uh, you know, just like last year, we had the number one seed got in, and got beat by the number four seed. So right. you never know what can happen. But, uh, you know, a lot's going to be uh, told by that game against Lebanon. Yeah, and, of course, you get an opportunity to go, you know, watch that game, get to see Kelsey Winfrey, future Missouri Tiger, right. does it all. So it would be a good game. And, We'll look forward to both those games. When we come back, Ron, we got to talk about the Camden boys. Been an up and down season, but lots of positive to touch on that and much more after this. Your boat, it's part of who you are. It's all about enjoying the lake on the weekend and having fun with friends and family. For all your boat is to you, isn't it time you did something for it too? You can with Quick Car Dockside Boat Cleaning. Quick Car will come to your dock and clean your boat from bow to stern, so you'll spend more time enjoying your boat, not cleaning it. Quick Car Dockside Boat Cleaning. Quick, easy, and professional every time. Two blocks from High V and Osage Beach. The Funky Buffalo Brew House and Trading Company is home to the Round Ball Roundup Camdenton Lakers Basketball Show. And it's home to the lake's best coffee, scones, and handcrafted sandwiches. Come see what all the talk is about and enjoy the beautiful tucked away in the woods setting. While deciding from our irresistible lineup of drinks and treats, you'll also notice some of the most breathtaking art from local artists plastered all over our walls. The Funky Buffalo Brew House and Trading Company, taking pride in being much more than your normal coffee shop. Welcome back, folks, to the Round Ball Roundup. And, Ron, now we'll talk about our Camdenton boys team come in this week now, 5-14 and 14 on the year. And it was a uh, tough game Tuesday against Waynesville. Obviously, lose Isaiah Lumley, Hunter Glenn's out with an injury, and actually fought in that one. You know, they really did, and I think they were down by two at halftime. They were playing pretty well, uh, especially without Hunter Glenn in there and his points. And, um, you know, like you said, with Isaiah. But, uh, you know, you had a, a kid, another freshman that stepped up. Uh, Paxton DeLaurent and you know and, and I've always known you know he played for me for a few years and I've always known you know he can play he's a really good shooter and you know he got hot had six hit six threes in the game and and actually we ended up getting down by 14 early in the fourth quarter but uh, really between um, you know Paxton and, and Brandon another freshman and and uh, Kelton Virtue a sophomore you know they really kind of led the charge back and you know, got the game within six or eight points there and ended up losing by six. But, you know, it says a lot about, you know, what the future of Camden's and basketball is going to be like because, you know, you got some underclassmen that are really stepping up and uh, showing what they can do and just playing really solid, you know, playing good defense and doing a good job. Kelton does a great job on the boards and, you know, is, is really helping out some of the upperclassmen right now. Yeah, I mean, Kelton and Brandon as underclassmen this year, we've started to see what they're really capable of. And, you know, we talk about Brandon's defensive you know, mine and obviously, you know, Kelton just all over the glass the last few weeks, especially his numbers are mind boggling. But really a coming out party in his first varsity matchup, Paxton comes out, scores 22 points, hits six threes, three of those in the same quarter in the second quarter, and then he hit three in the fourth quarter. So, or sorry, two in the fourth right. quarter, one in the third. And of course, Brandon, all four of his points were in the fourth quarter. So you have these guys, these freshmen and sophomores, really the running the show as far as I'm concerned with Camden. Of course, you know, Decker had 11 points in the game, and it's just nice to see like you touched on. The future is bright when you have guys like that that are playing these very, very tough teams and able to score and, and, and compete with them. It's got to bode well for the future. Well, it really does, you know, and, you know, and Dylan, you know, he's you know trying to do so much himself, and yeah. it was it was really nice for for those guys to step up, you know, especially Paxton and hit those outside shots, which, which really helps out, you know, Decker because he just doesn't you know, can't do it all by right, himself. Absolutely. And so, you know, those guys have to step up. But it was nice to see that they had the confidence, the other players, the confidence to give them the ball and, and let him put those up. And I mean, some of them were long range. You know, we've talked about the kid down in Lebanon having long range. I'll tell you what, Paxton hit some deep NBA three la last night. So it was really good to see. He's a good kid. And, uh, you know, they, they play really hard. And it was nice to see that they could actually compete on the varsity level. You know, they played... You know, uh, Brandon, of course, has been up there playing a lot on uh, varsity this year, but Paxton hasn't. You know, he's been playing JV a little bit, but mostly the freshman season. And, uh, you know, it was nice to see that he could actually do it. Yeah, and kudos to Coach O'Quinn. I know he was handcuffed, you know, running out of options. 
here with some unfortunate situations with no control over. You hate to see stuff like that take place, but to bring him up, I know you've been telling Coach, hey, Paxton could shoot, let him in there, and he <laughs> did. I mean, man, to the tune of 22 points, that's just what a what a first varsity matchup and did it in front of his home crowd. So, right. I mean, it's got to feel good to get that taste of varsity action, and that gets the first game jitters out of the way. doesn't even appear like he had first game jitters, and I'm kind of excited to see what Paxton does the rest of the way because I feel like he probably belongs on the varsity roster. Well, you know, and uh, <laughs> that's up to Coach. That's not, that, <laughs> we're, not, we're not making decisions, <laughs> Coach O'Quinn. But, you know, the, the great thing that I really saw, and I, you know, uh, like I said, I know these kids pretty well, but but the thing, he was diving on the floor after loose balls, you know, and, and just flying all over the court on defense. And, and that's the one thing that, you know, kind of goes unnoticed sometimes. You know, the points are great, but it's the things that he is doing to cause some things, you know. He had a tie-up underneath their basket late in the game. He re looks up their official, calls a timeout to save the possession for us. It's the little things like that that those kids know how to do that will really help him in the future. And it, like I said, I loved watching him fly after the balls and, and dive on the floor. And his defense it was better last night than, than I've seen all season. But, I, but he will step up to the challenge. He's one of those kind of kids, and all those freshmen are. You know, when they are given a challenge, they'll step up to it. And I've seen that personally. So, uh, yeah, I, I'm excited about the future with these guys because I think they're going to do a great job. Yeah, and of course, Ron doesn't want any credit. This freshman class who does seem to be very, very basketball savvy, 14 and 15 year old young men, could be a direct reflection of their youth coach who's been with them well, for a few years. I don't know about that. I mean, I had them at, at, at an early age and, uh, you know, then turned them over to the seventh and eighth grade coaches. But, uh, you know, they know how to play and they love the game and they compete. And that's what I always loved about them. Yeah, another good game for Garrett Gallier. He had six rebounds, put in four points, you know, and we're going to get to talk with Garrett on the show today and so the future is bright because you know we knew we were undersized undermanned coming in this year as far as senior class is concerned to lose some players to unfortunate events it's good to get to see these young guys get big minutes just kind of like last year with the girls team underclassmen got some big minutes and it's paid dividends now and so we'll look forward to what the future holds of course a couple of really tough games friday at rolla rolla so good and then tuesday travel the battle yeah. in columbia and that battle team i think they could contend for a state title well yeah, and we you know we knew the ozark conference schedule was going to be tough which it is but uh you know our non-conference schedule is just as tough you know with bolivar and and now you know with um Columbia battle coming up and you know it just doesn't get any easier but uh, you know the district seedings will be out pretty soon and you know uh, we will probably go up against Springfield Central in the first first round which uh, you know uh, we match up pretty well with them and uh, you know could get a different district win there but uh, you know you were talking about you know Garrett and 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 kids like Austin Carter you know those kids are vital to this program and yeah. we we need those guys and we need those upperclassmen next year you know, to pave the way for some of these younger classmen. And, 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 you know, the freshmen will not be able to do it on their own. We need kids like Garrett to be strong on the boards like he does. And Austin Carter to knock down three. He's got an amazing shot from the three-point line. You know, and, and he's a kid that can score a bunch of points for you. And he and did. So, last night hit a big three after uh, his three-pointer last night came right after a Waynesville three, came back down the other end of the floor, and he hit one as an answer. And you know how big that is. So you're right, right Ron. Got guys, Austin Carter, Garrett Gallier, playing big minutes, Big roles, and we're going right. to need them moving forward. Folks, when we sure. come back, we'll have Garrett Gallier. We'll also have Kylie Meyer for our player spotlights. That when we come back after this. As a local businesswoman and mom of two, life can be very busy. So having my groceries delivered makes life so much more convenient. They deliver it to my door without me ever having to leave the house. At Hy-Vee, we love our mom so much that we'll do the grocery shopping for you. Pre-order your list from home with Hy-Vee's Aisles Online. Our personal shopper handpicks produce and selects the best for you. You can even select your preferred ripeness of your produce. Try Hy-Vee's Aisles Online today. Welcome to Alternative Remedies Plus, natural remedies for your mind, body, and soul. If your body is out of balance, our Biomeridian Stress Assessment can suggest supplements that can restore harmony physically and mentally using our own collection of herbs and supplements. We also offer an extensive selection of vitamins, herbs, sports nutrition, weight loss, and other supplements. Alternative Remedies Plus. Visit us today in our new location next to the Big Red Barn just off the square in Camdenton. Holly Lift Boat Lifts. Your boat is a major investment. 
Make sure it sits on a poly lift. When you need a boat lift to raise your boat out of the water, choose the one voted best boat lift at the lake. Choose poly lift. Any size, built with the best quality construction, a lifetime warranty on the tanks, and the service to stand behind it. We don't just build boat lifts, we build poly lifts. We don't just build boat lifts, we build poly lifts. We're back, folks, in the Round Ball Roundup, and it's our first player spotlight. I'm joined by Garrett Gallier. What's going on, brother? Not a whole lot. What about you, man? Just living the dream, man, here at the Funky Buffalo. That's awesome, dude. <laughs> All right, Garrett, so we're going to get right to it. My first question for you is how long have you been playing organized basketball? I've been playing organized basketball for about 10 years now. It's just awesome organization and stuff to do. Yeah, and so what's your, your favorite thing outside of game day, obviously, but what's your favorite part of, of basketball? Definitely the preparation. I love preparing and getting myself mentally and physically ready both. I mean, it's just so fun. Very good. Okay, so right along those lines, so many people see that game day. They see the glamour and the glitz of the lights and everything and all the people there. However, most people don't really know what goes into a full season of high school basketball. So what's your favorite aspect of preparing? Oh, my favorite aspect by far is having your teammates and the camaraderie that you have along with them. I mean, even if kids are fighting for your spot, you're still cheering them on just as hard as you can. Yeah, absolutely. Well, you say that, not everybody is probably cheering them on, but that just speaks volumes about you, my friend. Okay, so since you've been a Camington Laker, you've seen some pretty neat things. Do you have one moment or memory that stands out to you? I don't know. I remember, I guess it would have been my freshman year, just seeing all those older guys and on the varsity players and us then having to play them like five on five. I mean, that was probably one of the coolest things we've ever seen. Did you beat them? Uh, no, <laughs> we did not beat them. <laughs> Understandably so. Okay, so besides basketball, what other sports do you play? Uh, I rodeo a lot. Like, I ride bucking bulls and bucking horses all the time. And so do you compete? Oh, yeah, and all the time. From what I understand, the local rodeo group is pretty impressive. Yeah, we have a lot of high school qualifiers to go to nationals in Gillette, Wyoming, and I've been to the World Finals in Abilene, Texas with Wyatt Calvert, and it's just a bunch of fun. My man, Bucking Bronco. That's awesome. Yeah. Very, very cool. That's something I would not have known about you. All right, so do you have a favorite professional sport to watch? Uh, definitely bull riding, the PBR. All right, so who's your favorite professional bull rider? Oh, man, that one's a tough one. Probably Denton Fugate. All right, so why do you like that guy so much? Oh, man, it's just really cool because both Mason Lowe and Denton Fugate I grew up around when I was really little, and They've always kind of held me under their wings, and they've been big role models to me in my life, and it's just cool to see them on TV now. So is there a possibility that's what you were going to do next, maybe, professional bull riding? Oh, most definitely. Most definitely a big uh, choice. Awesome. So outside of bull riding, do you watch any more traditional professional sports? Uh, I watch a lot of college basketball. Who's your favorite team? Duke. Oh, thank goodness. Not that I love Duke, but... I occasionally hear KU, and that's an automatic ground for getting out of this place. Oh, yeah. So the Blue Devils are good. We'll, we'll let you go with them. Um, okay, so I know that you're only a junior, but do you have any idea what's next for you after high school, or you may be leaning towards one career path? Uh, definitely going to go try and get an, I've been interviewed by a couple of college rodeos and go to college for rodeo and, and see where that takes me in life. Very, very cool. So at the next level, I love it. All right, that's going to bring us to our next, next portion in the show. It's called the Fast Five. I've got five questions for you. I'm going to ramble them off. You just tell me whatever comes to your mind first. All don't right. be embarrassed. We've seen some pretty crazy stuff here in this <laughs> segment, so you don't have anything to worry about. All right, Garrett, so if you could have any job in the world, I know the answer that's coming. Forget about the schooling, the money, whatever it takes to get you there. What would Garrett Gallier be doing? Bull riding. Absolutely. All right, so outside of the fact that you're an awesome bull rider, tell me one random fact about you that most people wouldn't know. I love cooking. My man, I love to be in the kitchen. <laughs> Families have had restaurants. What's your favorite dish to cook? It's off the script, but come on. Probably I love cooking bacon-wrapped cheeseburgers. Yeah, that sounds good. And I'll tell you, you probably already know this, but women love a man that can cook. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, so tell me your favorite childhood memory. Uh, probably going went to the IFYR, which is the world's largest youth paid rodeo, and it was the first time under the bright lights of a big rodeo, and I got on a pretty bull that had been on the PBR and TV and stuff, so it was pretty cool. Pretty intense. I always watch those things, and I see, you know, the rodeo clowns, and I always get scared for those guys, because those guys really are putting themselves in some serious danger. Oh, <laughs> you yeah. you seen anything crazy? Uh, I've seen it a couple times. I've seen kids get flipped, and it's just they're the reason why we do it, and they're lifesavers. Couldn't do it without them. 
That's awesome, man. All right, so tell me your favorite actor, actress, or even TV personality. Matthew McConaughey. Hmm. That's a good answer. What do you like about him? Just besides the fact he's got that cool demeanor, that, that talk about him. What do you like about Matthew? Oh, man, I love how his positive attitude goes towards everything he does. He gave a speech a while back that said, I want to beat me in 10 years, and then in 10 years I want to beat me the next 10 years. And it's just so cool how he goes at everything in life. Easy Plus, you can't to. forget the all right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. It, it, you do that again, but try to make it sound as close to Matthew McConaughey as you can. Go ahead. All right, all right, all right, all right. Pretty, pretty good. I thought I might be sitting right next to Matthew McConaughey. Very good. All right, so this question I've already got cleared by Coach. You can't get in trouble, so I need honesty and transparency here. If you could change one thing about Coach O'Quinn, what would you change? His shot form. <laughs> Doesn't have a good shot? No, it's ugly. <laughs> it's ugly. You heard it, Coach. you got to work on that shot. <laughs> He's done all right with that shot in his life, though. He has done really well with that shot. Very good. All right, Garrett. Well, hey, man, I uh, we got a parting gift for you. I appreciate you coming on the show. Oh. Our friends at Shell's Pasta, we got Chances Are, we've got Alternative Remedies in there, hooking you up with some goodies, and then our friends at the Funky Buffalo, man. Oh, Thanks man, for coming awesome. on and Thanks, keep working dude. hard, man. No, thank yes, you, sir. Garrett. It's Garrett Gallier with the Camden's and Lakers. We'll be right back after this. At Lake Regional Sports Medicine, keeping athletes in top condition is not just a job. It's our passion. Our athletic trainers work in the schools to keep student athletes safe and healthy. Our team of board certified orthopedic surgeons have the expertise to get you over the pain and back in the game. And we offer five area locations for physical therapy to help you regain your competitive edge. Lake Regional Sports Medicine, here for you. Round Ball Roundup, the coaches, the players, Game highlights. We cover it all exclusively here on Lake TV. Round Ball Roundup, brought to you by Lake Regional Health System, Quick Car, IV, Funky Buffalo, Family Eye Care, Polylift, Alternative Remedies, and Get Air. Round Ball Roundup, here on Lake TV. And we're back on the Round Ball Roundup, and now we've got Camington Lakers star who is just tearing it up as of late, Kylie Meyer. Kylie, what's going on? Oh, thank you. Not much. Doing good. Ready to show on the road. Get the show on the road. <laughs> okay, so I know that you just won the shootout MVP. I was expecting you to bring the trophy. What happened to that? Um, well, recently one of our uh, seniors tore an ACL, and that's kind of been really rough on all of us. And I got the award, and I started thinking about everything, and I thought who really needed um, who deserved it and who gave so much hard work to the game and been always been there for us and I just thought Blair Kurtz deserved it so good move that's awesome yeah. good for you young lady love it all right we're gonna get right into it so how long has Kylie been playing organized basketball Ooh, probably since around fourth grade I think I joined my first team very good uh, do you play any other sports actually I, I know do you play any other sports besides basketball yes I am a volleyball and track as well basketball pretty I know you're probably a good basketball or track, sorry, volleyball player, but tracks, you've had some real success, haven't you? Um, yes. So um, last year, which would have been my sophomore year, I was a state champion in the 300 meter hurdles. Champion. And uh, my freshman year, I'd got fifth place. So we're hoping to see, take that to new levels, see what we can do this year. So. Feels good to be around a champion. I can just kind of feed <laughs> off that energy. I've never won anything in my life, so I'm just going to get some of that. That's championship oh, yeah. all over. Good for you. Yeah, and you said you. take it to the next level. What's next after state championship? Um, well, I've had lots of college kind of looking at me, and I think that's really um, going to be a big part for college. Looking forward onto that. I'm hoping to maybe run track in college, see what I can get out of that. So. Of course. It's exciting. All right, so since you've been a Lady Laker, Kylie, you've been part of some great moments, especially the last couple of years. Do you have one that sticks out to you in particular? Hmm. Definitely that would have to be winning districts. That was a great moment in Camerton history and a great moment to be a part of. So that was just amazing energy, the inspiration and everything that was created off of that. It's awesome. Of course. Very, very good. All right, so who's your very best friend on the team, if I'm allowed to ask? Um, well, that would probably have to be probably Coley Rezebeck, just because... She's all about basketball, and I know that we kind of stuck through it. We're always partners. We are both posts. We teach each other everything. Like, if we ever were like, hey, 
after practice or anything, if we ever need some extra um, work on anything, she's always there. I'll always ask her. We're always um, trying to make each other better. So definitely, that definitely is a big part of it. Awesome. Good answer. All right. So does Kylie have a professional sport that you love to watch most? Um, well, usually throughout like the school year, I'm pretty busy working on things. I know my dad's a big LSU fan, so I usually get you a couple games in between here and there, but uh, nothing too big. Very good. All right, so Kylie, now I know that you've got some serious colleges looking at you, track and everything like that. Do you have any idea what's next career path-wise after high school? Um, I was looking, I wanted to do something maybe with like engineering. I wanted to be looking at environmental engineering. I thought that sounded really interesting or going to the biology field. And what kind like of that. job would that lead to? Um, well, like with inter environmental engineering, that'd be like, um, like power plants and looking at like the wind turbines, like stuff like that, creating new ways and um, better ways to um, create better um, tools for the environment so we can... Awesome. That's way over my head. <laughs> like I just see that stuff. I think it just creates itself. I know there's a lot of science that goes behind it. I don't want to know about it. You're very, very brave to want to go into that. All right, so now we're on to our fast five. Very fun. Uh, I'm going to ask five questions. You just shoot off an answer as quick as you think of it. Don't All worry right. about answering wrong. So if you could have any job in the world, forget about the schooling, forget about the money that goes into it, what would Kylie be doing? Oh, man. Honestly, I want to do it all. I don't want to pick just one thing. I'd want to have something new to do every day. I'd want to be a roller coaster tester, going out to the wild and um, be an astronomer, just everything. I think that sounds awesome. Way cool. Very, very cool. All right, so tell me one random fact about you that most people don't know. Um, well, I, for my 16th birthday, most people ask for a car, but I asked for a ukulele for my birthday. <laughs> so I've been practicing for that. So, so you play the ukulele? I do play the ukulele, yes. I wish I would have known. <laughs> I would have asked you to bring it and play for yeah. us. We're going to have to have you back on the show eventually so you can play that. You'll be on next right. year for sure. <laughs> and I want the ukulele here so All you right. can serenade us. Okay, All right? sounds good. All right, tell us your favorite holiday and why. Oh, definitely Christmas. Christmas starts in October and it goes all the way till January. <laughs> no stopping. <laughs> Very good. All right, so what's your favorite current TV sitcom or show? Oh, that would have to be probably Parks and Rec. I'm a big fan of Parks and Rec. <laughs> it's a great show. It's very funny, yes. All right, so this is my favorite question I'm going to ask you. I've already talked with her. You can't get in trouble. I need you to just be honest with me because if someone asked me this question, I would get very breathy because there is a lot of things I have to say. If you could change one thing about Coach Caffey, what would it be? Oh, goodness. Forget the fact that um. she's sitting right there. <laughs> just forget about yeah, it. Yeah, no big deal. <laughs> um, well... I would have to say, I don't know, she just brings like so much energy and life to like anything she's involved in. And I feel like just having her, the fact that she's only involved with um, basketball, I would love to have her in volleyball and track and in my athletics just being everywhere because she's such an inspiration, so. That's good. Typically, you know, we want to throw the coaches under the bus at that part of the show. And typically, everyone has something positive to say about Coach Caffey. So we're going to have to change that. That's awesome. That's a wonderful answer. Get her involved in as many things as you could. I'm sure the district would love that as well. Kylie, you've been awesome. Love watching you play. You're such a big part of this year's team. Before we uh, send you on your way, we have a gift. From our friends at Shell's Pasta, chances are Nike and Alternative Remedies. There's some vitamins and a shaker for you. Have awesome. fun, and thank you so much. Awesome. Good luck the yeah, rest of the way. Thank you so much. I appreciate you having me. Of course. That's Kylie Myers. She's an absolute <laughs> rock star, if you couldn't tell. Thanks for watching the Round Ball Roundup. We'll be right back after this. Polylift Boat Lifts. Your boat is a major investment. Make sure it sits on a poly lift. When you need a boat lift to raise your boat out of the water, choose the one voted best boat lift at the lake. Choose poly lift. Any size, built with the best quality construction, a lifetime warranty on the tanks, and the service to stand behind it. We don't just build boat lifts, we build poly lifts. We don't to build boat lifts, we build poly lifts. The Funky Buffalo Brew House and Trading Company is home to the Round Ball Roundup Camden and Lakers Basketball Show. And it's home to the lake's best coffee, scones, and handcrafted sandwiches. Come see what all the talk is about and enjoy the beautiful tucked away in the woods setting. While deciding from our irresistible lineup of drinks and treats, you'll also notice some of the most breathtaking art from local artists plastered all over our walls. The Funky Buffalo Brew House and Trading Company, taking pride in being much more than your normal coffee shop. 
Welcome to Alternative Remedies Plus, natural remedies for your mind, body, and soul. If your body is out of balance, our Biomeridian Stress Assessment can suggest supplements that can restore harmony physically and mentally using our own collection of herbs and supplements. We also offer an extensive selection of vitamins, herbs, sports nutrition, weight loss, and other supplements. Alternative Remedies Plus. Visit us today in our new location next to the Big Red Barn just off the square in Camdenton. All right, folks, that's going to wrap up this week's edition of the Round Ball Roundup. And for Ron Dugan and the entire crew, I want to let you say goodbye, Ron. Hopefully not forever. I know you're going under the <laughs> knife. Know. Big time <laughs> surgery. Prayers and thoughts are with you, brother. Thanks. Uh, get back as soon as possible. So how long do you think you'll be out? Uh, they said three weeks. I'm planning on 10 days. So we'll go for that. That's Ron Dugan for you, folks. Before we <laughs> let you go, enjoy this week's Seeing is Believing highlight of the week brought to you by Family Eye Care Vision Source. Lake TV Sports thanks you for watching this edition of Round Ball Roundup. Watch for a brand new edition next Thursday at 1230 on the Lake TV Network.